So, this just hit me. Us upperclassmen start school tomorrow, and I will be up at 5 a.m. to go to PT. But, what hits me most is the fact that I have exactly one more year left that at the end of my senior year, I will be starting my life. And it's like, where the hell did all the time go? Seems like just yesterday, I was in middle school sitting at my desk waiting to go out for recess. But now, I have a job. I'm paying for my own cell phone bill. I'm getting ready to get my car and I'll be paying for everything on that. I buy all of my clothes. I buy whatever I need myself. It seems like just yesterday I was sitting on a swing set and we were fighting over who gets what color crown. And now we're fighting over over boys and all this stupid nonsense because it doesn't matter. But we're all jealous of each other because everyone has something everyone else wants. We can't just be happy with what we have and it's not like that. Like, life is hard, life is meant to break you, and life is meant to push you down, but the matter of fact is with you if you get back up and you keep trying to get what you want, because at the end of our senior year, the class of 2016, where are we going? Whether it be the military, whether it be college, whether we're just not going to go to college or not, we have to push ourselves for greatness because our generation is getting ready to lead our country. Like, if it hasn't sunk in yet, like, to any of you guys else, but it has sunk in to me, like, we're getting ready to take our country in our own hands. Like, that's just mind-blowing to me. And it's just like I saw a commercial last night on TV where it was like 20 years ago there was like a 29% of the teens, 29% of the teens during that time smoked and now only 9% do. Like we have the responsibility, we have the numbers, we have the, the people and the willing and the creativity to stop smoking altogether and get rid of it and then we could teach our kids after that if we plan on having kids not to smoke and it's a horrible thing but that's just scary like from 29 percent to nine percent and our generations from our parents to us it has dropped so it's it's like I kind of wish like sometimes I could go back to when I was younger but you can't reverse time. But I remember sitting on the swing sets one time in my home, my home, my hometown and looking over at my friend and be like, I wonder what it's like to be grown up. And now I know, like now I have that responsibility of being a grow, grown up. I may be 16 years old but I have the responsibility of caring for myself I do not pay rent, but I do pay for my cell phone bill, all of my clothes I'm wearing, my my hair shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, makeup, whatever I need, I pay for it with my own money. And you guys may be thinking, well, oh, that's bad, you're 16 years old and you're paying for everything you need. Your parents are supposed to do that, but that's my parents' way of showing me that it's time to grow up. Because I'm a year and a half away from being 18. I'm once I'm 18, I'm out of the house. I'm leaving. I'm after I graduate. I'm moving to California. I'm going to college. I'm gonna major in marine biology. Like I'm just. I can't believe that a year and a half from now I'm starting my own life and I will no longer be able to fall back on my parents when I need something. And it's just crazy because, like, that's all I've never known were my parents. And my parents were my grandparents. Because my parents were never in my life. And I don't know about you guys, and I'm sorry that I'm ranting, but this is the only way to get it out of my head. Some people don't have parents. 
like me. My grandparents took me under their wing and then my grandmother died when I was in the sixth grade. And if you don't like that messed me up, I, it's insane to even reflect on my past because I went nuts, I went crazy. And then my father's parents took me in and it's just insane to think that I've come so far from living at my mother's and she was never home. She was an alcoholic. She would work a come home change and go to the bar and I wouldn't see her. I raised three, three of my siblings. I'm the oldest of seven. And my stepfather is 10 years older than me mom has been through three marriages. My father left me when I was not even one years old to move to Florida with another with another female. And so it's like I know I've had a hard life and I'm not going into every detail because no one needs to know all that. And it's like I've gone through that, but people go through worse. So it's like our generation can stop all of that, you know? Like it's up to our generation to find the cure for cancer, possibly, and I know we are so close to finding it and we can do it. And then maybe even world peace. I might be just talking out of my ass when I say that, but if we get some, if we get the crazy ass motherfuckers in our government to get out of there and maybe not try to be the world's police all the goddamn time then we could actually do something but you know sometimes it's kind of impossible and eventually maybe we could actually have world peace maybe we could world in, end world hunger Maybe we could help third world countries get up on their feet. Who knows? I mean, it's up to our generation. Now, can we be that savior? Can we do it? No matter how hard it may get, no matter how hard we may fall off the horse, we need to get back up and keep trying because it's up to our generation. And it's our time.